Some of the challenges we wanted to do for uh, FDB3 was raising the, the graphical bar. So this time around, we've uh, really pushed the mocap. We shot tons and tons of mocap, like uh, two weeks worth of mocap. We used the new technology that allows us to mocap the cameras, so we have a really cool uh, like handy cam feel. This added uh, a, a huge sense of reality, kind of like wartime footage, uh, where the, the camera sways back and forth and it's not a static camera. In past SOCOM titles, uh, the poly counts have, have been around 1,000 polys uh, for the PSP products. But with our game, we've up the characters, we've up the textures. The textures have gone from 4-bit to 8-bit. We've uh, increased our poly counts uh, from 1,000 to about 2,000. We had a high-res facial animation on the guys, so you can, really, you can really feel that authenticity. We have over 700 animations in this game, over 50 cutscenes, over 25 minutes. Up to 16 characters per cutscene. That's quite a lot for the PSP. We looked back at Fireteam Bravo 2 and looked at some of the AI and control issues that players are experiencing, and we tried to figure out how we could deal with those and improve them. We've got a new AI cover system where the AI will take cover and fire back. We've got a new stance adjustment system where if you're behind low cover and you gotta shoot a guy over it, he'll automatically pop up. One of the really neat features that we, that we added to this is the ability to queue up orders. You can order your teammates to throw grenades or take down certain targets, and you can even tag targets to take down to get cooperatively. So you can tell your SEAL, I want you to tag this guy, then you can go into a better position. And then once you're in that better position, you can say, all right, kill him now. Additionally, part of that is our new front end, which is essentially this sort of notebook feel. Uh, this, is, this is something that, you know, after sort of studying, you know, SEALs out in the field, they don't have access to high-tech equipment, they don't, they're basically there, they have like a piece of paper and a pencil, and, and this, is, this is the way they operate. So we really wanted to sort of bring that into, into our front end, and you'll see that when you're actually, when you're taking a look at the map, it sort of has that, that notebook feel, and you see that everything gets sort of circled, and it's all scribbles, and it's, a, it's sort, of a, sort of a really cool thing that we really wanted to try. All you SOCOM Fireteam Bravo fans, get this game, it's going to be awesome.